Hi, so today I wanted to show you how you can level up your lipstick game. It's very simple. Let's take any lipstick. Uh, I'm gonna use this one from House Labs. It is the Le Monster Lip Crayon in Peach Matte. I'm just gonna put this on my lips and I'm gonna show you how it looks. It doesn't have a sharpener. That's annoying. It's fine though. It's a lip crayon so you can like fill in your lips, which is kind of nice. Okay, this is option number one. This is just going straight in with your lipstick all over your lips, okay? Uh, personally, I hate the way it looks on me. If you'd like just going in with like one color, more power to you. I personally just think that it looks awful. I don't know why. I hate it. I hate the way it looks. I don't know. I'm gonna show you the second option. I talk so much about structure, contouring, bronzing the face, creating dimension to your makeup, not just for your face, for your eyes. It applies to your lips as well. Some people don't really think of lip liner as a structural thing. They think of a lip liner as like, Maybe it prevents your lipstick from feathering. Maybe use a lip liner that's exactly the same color as your lipstick. Maybe you think because of that, you're like, well, my lipstick doesn't feather. I don't need this lip liner. Like, I don't have to do that. That's not how I think of lip liner. I think of lip liner the way that I think about like contouring my face. Uh, it is a structural thing. It creates shape and dimension to the lip. And if you are, you know, doing the option number one, where you're just going in with your lipstick and you're kind of like, I don't understand why this looks like flat or boring or the color doesn't really work for my skin tone. The best thing you can possibly do is find a, lips, a lip liner that is like a really nice neutral for your skin, which is going to vary depending on your skin tone. I prefer to use something that's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Uh, something that's gonna be a little bit darker than like just a regular nude lip liner that I might use. If you are medium skin, skin tone, and you have like very warm undertone, then something like kind of a chestnutty color would probably work best on you. Wherever Walnut is a really popular one for like slightly more medium skin tones, um, it can be a little bit more warm, especially if you're very fair like me. It's like too warm on me. The one that I want to use is by Rimmel. It was suggested to me by somebody, or wait, I saw somebody wearing it. I can't remember. Somebody gorgeous was wearing it. What was her name? I want to say it was like Alyssa something. Uh, it was Rimmel Cappuccino. So this is a nice cool toned lip liner uh, that is going to manipulate pretty much every lipstick shade that I have to kind of like work for my skin tone. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go in and line my lips, just like regular. Can you see that it's like relatively dark though? So I'm gonna use this to create this shape. I usually start off with like my actual lip line and then I'll kind of like overline if I want to, which I pretty much always do. Okay, so you can see that it's like relatively cooler toned. It's a little bit darker. I mean, it's like relatively dark. It's like a, probably a more of a medium tone to me. The next thing that I wanna do is feather this a little bit. So using a brush is really, really nice for that. Uh, I'm going to be using the 28 brush by Refer. So I'm gonna use that brush to pick up a little bit of this lip liner. I'm going to feather that line I'm gonna keep it sharp on the outer corner. I mean, what, on the outer part? And I'm just gonna feather it into my lip color. Now, the reason I'm picking up some product is for instance, if you've ever like gone in with a wet or like a damp beauty sponge that has nothing on it and you try to like blend over top of something, you end up like removing some product. So I don't wanna go in with a completely clean brush because I don't want to remove that lip liner. I wanna blend. See how we're creating like shape to the lip and depth by blending? It's not looking like so uh, harsh anymore. I 
I love this color. I think it's so beautiful. It's so flattering on my skin tone. Uh, once you have found that color that works for you as your like contour, essentially, any lipstick color will work with this, anything. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with that peachy color that I really didn't like when it was just like on my naked lips. I'm gonna work it in the center first, kind of between that color so that I have like the nice bright version. And then I'm gonna use that brush the other side. I'm gonna flip it around to pick that up and just pat so that it's blending into that contour without covering up or removing. Do you see how much more defined and dimensional this lip looks? It looks like it fits with my face now because the rest of my face is contoured. I have a skin tint on, I have contour, I have bronzer, I have blush. I just wanted to make sure my mic was still on. Um, my face is structured, you know? So when my lip doesn't look structured, it looks very out of place. It also, because that lip liner is so flattering on my skin tone, it ends up working with like any, any lipstick that I wanna wear, whether it's nude, whether it's more peach, whether it's more red. Uh, and it kind of like helps to ground that color so that it's not just sort of like floating on the top of your lips and looking like it shouldn't even be there, you know? Plus because that shade works so well with my skin tone, I feel like mixing that lip liner with like a lipstick color that I wouldn't necessarily like on me ends up working a lot more. What's another example? I feel like this is a really good example actually. Wait, where did it go? I wanna show you one more example just because like this color, like a peach seems like universal. So I'm gonna do this crazy pink that I would like never wear. I'm gonna keep the outline of that lip liner. Just do the same thing. I'm just gonna ferociously wipe that brush off. Now I'm gonna use Lisa Eldridge Sunday Matinee, which to me is just like, Pink. It's like a pink that I would like never wear, okay? God, her formulas are so nice. Brush. See how grounded that pink looks now? It like, once again, creates that dimension. It makes it look like it's a part of my lips. It's not just this like pink shade sitting on top of my lips. So much more flattering. I can't take myself seriously looking like this, but really quickly, um, it can be very difficult. That's probably the hardest thing to find like the right lip liner for you. So I don't know if you guys saw this trend that was happening like a while back. That was, it was like your perfect lip combination is like your brow pencil with like your blush in the center or something. That's like not so far off. It's obviously going to depend on like what color your hair is, <laughs> what color your eyebrows are. Uh, for instance, if you are like ridiculously fair skin, you, but you have black hair, Black lip liner, probably not gonna work super well, um, unless you're going for that. If your brows are like mid-toned, like mine kind of, you know, compared to the rest of your skin, like my brow pencil works really well as a really nice like contour shade for my lips. Uh, so you can give that a shot if you're having a hard time finding something. I will link my favorite colors down below with also just like a little explanation of the formula, um, just to give you like a little bit of a guide and maybe like skin tones that I would recommend them for. I hate the way this looks. <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful. It's one of those things where you like don't really think about it until you do it and then you're just like, oh shit, this makes like a gigantic difference. Um, so yeah, that's all. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.